To post a new announcement to your course, click the Announcements button. From here, click the plus announcement button. In the topic title box, put in a name for your announcement. Then, when you're ready, in the text editor box, add the text that you want to post in your announcement. You can style the text any way you want using the buttons here in the text editor menu. What you can also do is you can add in, you can record and add in a video if you wish, or an audio file. We'll do that now. Go to the record upload media button. While the video is loading, I'll show you. This here is, a vid is for video. If you wish to record audio only, you just click this button instead. You can also upload video that you've recorded previously if you wish. First of all, give the video a title. And then, whenever you're ready, you can click anywhere to start recording. At this point, I'd like to say some people may have an issue with their flash player. If you do, you simply can go up to your the lock icon on your browser window, assuming you're using Chrome. Click on the lock icon and go down to Flash. Down here, you choose to always allow on this site. I'll put these instructions at the end of the video as well. Uh, so if you've missed this, just wait till the end of the video and we'll go back through it. Assuming that that's working fine, come back to the video and click anywhere to start recording. Very easy. Hello, this is my video. I'm recording now. And then you can click anywhere to stop recording. Hello, this is my video. I'm recording now. And then you can click anywhere to stop recording. So that plays back automatically. If you're happy with that, you can click save. If you want to re-record it, you just click the record button again. For this moment, let's just save. We can delete it later if we don't like it. And you can see it adds in a little text box here which indicates that there will be a video. In the announcements section, as in many other sections, you can add in all sorts of links, files and images as well. We'll go through the process for doing that later in, in other sections, so I won't cover that now. For now, scroll down. There are a number of other options here which I'll allow you to explore in your own time. There's further information about those in the guides. Uh, for now, let's just click the Save button. So that's all you have to do. This is your new announcement that's now been posted for students. So just to recap, if you need to turn on Flash, go up to the lock icon on your browser window, assuming you're using Chrome. Click the lock icon, scroll down to Flash, click the drop down menu and select Always Allow on this site. Once you've done that, you may need to refresh your browser window. You do that by clicking the refresh button here.